Hi, welcome back to the Kitos YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to set up Jamf to issue certificates. So you might be using Jamf on its own or you might be using it in conjunction with Intune. So if you're already using it for Intune, you can use your same CA that you have set up for Intune. So we can see here, for example, an in Intune CA, all we would have to do is grab the, the static URL from here. But in this video, I'm going to walk you from straight from the beginning till the end. Uh, this assuming you have already created your subscription, but if not, you can go to portal.ezca.io slash sign up, or you can do it straight in the Azure portal by going to portal.azure, entering EZCA and selecting the EZCA instance you would like. After that, um, we're gonna go here, we're gonna click create CA. And in this case, I'm just gonna do a root CA, but you could technically do a subordinate CA and chain it to either your existing root or chain it to a easy CA root. So in here, we're just gonna go here and click root CA. And here, we're just gonna call it Jamf Pro. And we're gonna go next. We're gonna leave all this as default. In here, we're gonna email all the PKI administrators that you did during your setup of EZCA, but you can also add another email. So for example, like security at ketos.io, well, <laughs> at your organization.io, and that email will get it as well. Um, and then by default, we only do certificate revocation list, but you can also add OCSP as well for free. So if you, you need OCSP for anything, you can enable it. Other than that, we're gonna go to next. In here, we're gonna change the template. So it's gonna be a skep template. And by default, it works with Antune, but for this case, we're also gonna need the static challenge. And another cool one that I usually don't talk about um, is self-service user certificate issuance. I'm gonna link the video on that below, but basically you can have your users that are not enrolled into any MDM to come into the site and request their own certificate. Um, oh, and that we see here a warning for, we're using the any EKU by default. In this case, we're just issuing client and server certificates. Uh, so we're just gonna select that, those extended key usages. You can select as many as you want. Um, so after that, we're gonna close this, go to next, and I'm just gonna select SUS and I'm gonna create it. And yes, as simple as that, I've created a CA uh, and we're ready to go. So we're gonna save that certificate and now we're gonna go to Jamf. So now here in Jamf, we're gonna go to computers. We're gonna go to configuration policies. And as you can see, this is just a brand new instance. So I'm just gonna create a brand new one and let's call it SCAP Wi-Fi, assuming that you're gonna use this for Wi-Fi. It has to be at the computer level. SCAP is still not supported at the user level. Um, and then we're gonna go first to certificates. So in here, we're gonna click configure and we're going to upload the certificate. So to do that, we're going to go back here to easy CA and we're going to go to the Jamf Pro CA that we just created. We're going to click view details and download it. Or if you download it as we did when we created it, you don't have to do that. And we can just go back here and select it. We're going to select Jamf Pro and we're going to upload it. And then here, we're just going to call it this, but you, you know, it could be like easy CA, CA for Wi-Fi or whatever you want to call it. And it will use, uh, there's no password or anything because it doesn't have the private key. So in here, we're just going to click save. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to edit to add the skep part of it. So now we go to skep, we click configure. And in here we have to get the URL. So to do that, we're gonna go back to EZCA and we're gonna find our Jamf Pro CA. We're gonna click view requirements. And in here you can see there's two URLs in this case, just because I have these two enabled, there can be more, but we're gonna select the one that is skep challenge, static challenge skep URL. So we're gonna select that, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go here to URL. We're gonna press that. And then in here, you can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to click uh, Jamf test. And here's when do you want it to automatically redistribute? So that's for renewal. So let's say 30 days before it expires. Uh, then the subject name, it can be anything you want. So like the full name of the user um, and all that is here. 
And by the time you watch this, it's also going to be in our documentation and link there. But basically, you can select what you have. This skip, uh, this Jamf instance doesn't have much of it. So I'm just going to do the Jamf ID, which is going to be one. And then in here, we're going to do video. And subject alternate name, same. If the username had a email, you could set one. And here, I'm just going to set uh, security at keto.io. And then for the challenge, in here, this is a challenge that uh, basically Jamf uses to talk to EZCA. So we're going to go back here and we're going to select this. And if you want to rotate it or something, it's as simple as rotating it. Now we have the new one and we can go here, select it. And then you enter a number of retries. I always enter just 12 because they're next to each other and same retry delay 12. Um, but you can make it as many as you want. Then in here, we're going to select the biggest size. And we're going to enable it for digital signature and key encipherment. And then we have to select the issuing CA so we can trust it. You can either enter the thumbprint by opening the certificate in your computer and reading the thumbprint here um, and copy and pasting it, or you can just be lazy and upload the certificate. So that's what I'm going to do. So now that we have uploaded that, we can save it. And now we are going to scope it to all computers in this case, just because I have one computer in this test and all users. And I'm going to click save. And now uh, it's pending. So I'm going to go to the Mac and do a refresh. Now if we refresh here. We can see that it has completed and we can see here the certificate and um, obviously I'm doing this from my Windows computer so I cannot see my Mac, uh, but you can see here the one video and random ID um, and I'll put a screenshot of it right here. So that's how simple it is to create a SCAP certificate and the great thing about this, it not only works with Jamf, you're also using another MDM for Chromebooks or uh, Intune or anything. It all works in the same CA. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy this tool as much as we do.